Now, mine's seen a user for an entire year now, and especially it, the worst horrific, one of the worst horrific abuses that I personally had to go through was four months when my dead husband was in jail. And then he always says, like, shit like, oh, oh, he, he was dead. Oh, and he's in jail. Oh, he was dead in jail. I'm like, no. My late husband, but you should be able to figure that out, but he was a very manipulative warlock that cast spells. Like, you're just confused. No, that never happened. No. Well, shit, what? Okay, now what's abuse? Abuse is giving someone over $200,000, his purple alien god. And I guess the mom, purple alien, the mom benefited too. Aww. So, purple alien god and mom benefited. And what's abuse? Giving someone $200,000. When you say that you're poor, all the time, you have no money because of purple alien god. Purple alien god. Purple alien god. Purple alien god. Stole all my money. Okay. What are you doing still giving her money? Now, check this out. The hell? He, he gave her, like, over, I know, over $6,000 this year alone. My fan service would have only have been the most, um... It was sixty dollars for twelve months. So just add that up. Um six hundred for ten months and then so seven hundred and twenty dollars, not even a thousand. Okay? And then this dipshit insane abuser. Uh I, he just goes and gives her money like a running faucet. And he always screams at me. Oh, I'm not back. Well, you are to Purple Alien. And Purple Alien's mom and Purple Alien's children. Certainly not to me. Never gave a fuck about me. And the reason why I was so furious with him is because he knew me way back in 1999. I needed a place for me and my kids, a decent place to live. He never did one fucking thing for me. But he provided everything for purple alien the mom and the children now he knows what the fuck happened to that money shit if you can't take care of two kids or however fucking many kids purple alien had if you can't take care of those kids all right with two hundred thousand dollars in a decade there is something majorly fucking wrong with you i mean that has to be like the lousiest mother in the world because that's all I needed. Help out my kids. Like, oh my god. I could have a decent place for him to live. Oh my god. Could have lived one time in my life. Like, he never cared about me. He never ever cared about me at all. It's all the truth and nothing but the truth. I hate all his lies. Hmm. Yeah. And. The whole fact is he was best friends with my caretakers. He never gave me a penny. And of course, he's not giving me a penny either. Oh, okay. Fine. Whatever. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so then I'm negative right now, naturally. So, what do I do? I pray. And I praise the Lord Jesus for his blood who is the son of God and I had a bit of an argument I should have been more vicious to say yeah Jesus is the son of God to this insane abuser I met in the street I mean it was like I ain't doing anything to me he just was very rude I mean I can't like leave when I want to like I'm done smoking half my cigar now and I drank my water I'm ready to pick up and leave oh I need 30 30 Bibles and all the tribes you want to know about the tribes <laughs> oh my god I don't want to know any of that information again I rebuked it all rebuked I renounced it 
that's a better word. I renounced it all. I do not believe in any of it, and I guess you could call it. Yeah, I refused it, rebuking it. They're just about the same. Dear Lord Heavenly Father, please um, cause me to forget all the negativity of my insane, abusing narcissist this past year and replace it with your peace that passes all understanding. Because there is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood. I claim this in the powerful blood of Jesus. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of Jesus. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood, in the blood of Jesus. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of Jesus. Praise Jesus, he's so great, he's so great, can I take praise Jesus. Praise Jesus, singing, I love Jesus, Lord. Praise my Lord forever and ever. God wants you to rest in his presence forevermore. Now, way back in 2000, it's like August 2nd, 2000, I was determined to have Howard Stern on this radio show to get, try to help me out. Feel sorry for me. <laughs> that didn't work out well. I caught him up with some perverted shit, right? So, that was interesting to him, so he, like, I was talking on the phone in a minute. Hey, you're on the air. Nah, I didn't say that. I don't, but whatever, I was live. Okay, what about this? <laughs> yeah, well, I was attacked, like, oh, God. You didn't know what to do with me. It's live radio. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes, we heard. Uh, whatever. Uh, he did insult me. Did insult me. Said that my kids were well taken care of by my child blisters. But he didn't fucking know. But he does put down people. Uh, but he was nice. And he allowed me to sing my little Jesus song. And that actually happened on the air. Put another dime in the jukebox, baby. I love Jesus, Lord. Praise my Lord and dance with me. Tune chat. Ow! I was able to sing that one. Howard Stern Show. My, one of my good friends that I had a diary from. Unfortunately, she was raped by her dad. I had her diary. And, um, her weird, uh, her weird husband... Um, taped. He was obsessed with our sir, so he taped cassette tapes every day on his car. Every odd. Oh, she was just like, wow, the day that you were on, I couldn't tape you because there was no, I mean, yeah, you know, just like boxes and boxes of tape. You know, then you don't have any anymore. But, you know, the only time that I needed to be taped, because I didn't think I was going to get through, then he, um, there wasn't one in the car, but she heard me on the radio. She's like, oh, yeah, I heard you. And I didn't know he called me a sweetheart. He said, yes, yeah, sweetheart, um, do whatever you want. Because he didn't know <laughs> you know what the hell to do with me. Yeah. Shit. Well, if you ever want to do that perverted thing with your mom, yeah, go ahead. You know, you can call me back, right? All right, yeah. Okay, get <laughs> you off the air. Like, I ain't know what that was <laughs> Praise my Jesus, Lord. Praise my Lord forever and ever. God wants you to rest in his presence forevermore. Ow! Praise my Lord Jesus every day. Because insane, abusing narcissists attack me every day. They put me down to hell. They put me to hell with their own hate. I hate my insane abusers because they lie and lie. Their manipulative lies just makes me want to die. And I sing, I love Jesus, Lord. Praise my Lord forever and ever. God wants you to rest 
in his presence forevermore. I love Jesus, Lord. Praise my Lord forever and ever. God wants you to rest in his presence forevermore. And my atheist grand boy said, Well, heaven would be kind of boring. Like, what the hell did you do in heaven all day long? Praise God. Okay. Praise God to a God that doesn't exist. And he hated all those hello God people because he's like, yeah, you guys are selfish. You have to worship your God. Well, what about, you know, just helping out people? Yeah, you have to, you know, you have to, they help out themselves. The hello God. That's what my caretaker said too when I was obsessed with the TV evil evangelist in my cult that when I used to watch all of them. Carefully dollar wants your dollars. Frederick Price has a price. I can't say John Heggy spit on him with your Heggy because you know what? Um what he said. He's like my favorite one because of what he said. So, there is no forgiveness for a father that rapes his daughter. Because <laughs> he, had, he had a counselor, people. He, um, he had a nice guy going into um, hospitals when people were dying. Counsel. Counseled people. He counseled a girl. The girl's furious. He raped me! He did it! Tears are coming out of his eye, out of her eyes. And he says, there is no forgiveness for such a crime. There is no forgiveness for a father raping his daughter. And I was like, well, the only thing that I really like, they said, and I remember a few other things, but that one, I kept in my memory bags. I like that one. Also, he said something like, um, some guy came in and he was six feet away from him. Well, that's really close. So you have to be like right next to the stage. Six feet? Oh, I think that was a lot because that's, that's just one person away. I would think at least 12 feet. You know, if you got straight up on the stage, right? I wasn't sure exactly what he said, but I think he's like, he stood in the front aisle or like, no, he would have had to have been right up at the stage with a gun. And he fired. How many gunshots? Who knows? I don't know the, the story. Maybe it was six gunshots. <laughs> I don't know how. Okay. Maybe that was a six gunshots. And they all repelled. They all uh, flew off of me. Didn't hit me. Didn't really buy that. It could have happened. I would have enjoyed to see the footage of it. Yeah. Now, I heard something new with the Anakai, which is just disgusting. Just, um, you can't kill them with bullets. I don't want to know that information. I deleted it out of my mind because it's too horrified. I don't want to know about them. So, you know. A man? John Heggy isn't like any alien, I wouldn't think. Just misinformed about the gospel. The prosperity gospel, he's misinformed. And whatever else he teaches with his prayer shawls, you know. Oh, this is the way you do the prayer shawl. Why would you do that? Why would you make it so complicated? Oh, you're in a complicated re religion. Okay. 